Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. As you all know, there is only two days left for your ICI JRF exam. So at this stage, it's very crucial to concentrate on most important topics under the syllabus and revise them thoroughly. In this video, I'm gonna cover you cover or give you the list of most important and necessary topics that are to be covered in science and technology under plant sciences. And also, I can assure you that if you are covering the topics that I'm give, that I'm going to give you today, you will be able to solve most of the questions from science and technology. So stick with me until the end of the video and take a full benefit out of it. Without making further delay, let's get started. So for ease of understanding and to make it simple, I have divided the subjects into five major topics that is floral biology and seed physiology, seed production, legislation and certification, seed processing, seed testing and seed health. So in out of these five different topics, I will, I will be giving you the most important things to be covered. So let me begin with floral biology and seed physiology. So first and foremost important thing that that is needed to be covered in floral biology is mode of pollination in case of all the major crops whether they are self cross or often cross pollinated so after this second most important thing is to cover the mechanisms that are involved in this pollination so, so these are the two different things that are to be covered mandatorily in case of floral biology and seed physiology next its seed development so in the seed development starting from microsporogenesis and megasporogenesis to gametogenesis until fertilization you need to look after the steps and also the changes that are taking place in the different stages after that it's uh, just give the special emphasis to the specialized structure in case of different crops just like caruncle sarcotesta which are unique to the crop so just take care of these things and next it's about the embryo stack uh, structure of embryo sac or oval ovary pollen grain just observe the figure and see the different parts of these structures next most importantly and most commonly its types of ovules and their examples after all these things next most important thing is to cover the phases of germination so how the germination occurs and what are the changes that will be undergoing in the seed while the radical protrusion takes place so that that you need to have a clarity and uh, along with this germination it's about seed imbibition process the principle that is involved in it like like it is mainly because of water potential difference how the seeds are imbib imbibing the water from the environment so just go through the, all these mechanisms and know the principle behind it after these things make a clear list of endospermous and non endospermous seeds and also ipo and epigeal germination and the examples know about the ipogeal and epigeal germination and its examples next one of the most important topic is dormancy know that meaning of the dormancy the different definitions and different classification of dormancy or different types of dormancy and meaning of them after that what are the methods that are used to break the dormancy methods which are used to break the dormancy and before that also go through the what is the use of the dormancy how it is used and what is its significance and lastly in the seed physiology it's about plant growth regulators know about the different plant growth regulators and their functions or roles in both seed and plant development so if you follow these topics from floral biology and seed physiology that would be enough the second unit seed production legislation and certification so in case of seed production give special importance to hybrid seed production its planting ratio and also in the varietal seed production give importance to the list of isolation distance for different crops and designated diseases and designated weeds other than that also give uh, just look after the smr the ratios like seed multiplication ratios and then there are list of 
hybrid seed production methods that are unique to the crops like where the emasculation uh, where the emasculation or any other methods are used there are different methods that are very specific to the crops like doke method poster wet method and also lantern method so there are list of list of different methods that are used while emasculation and pollination in different crops in case of hybrid seed production just take care of these things clear and next uh, coming to legislation most importantly it's about uh, seed act 1966 and seed rules then seed control order and uh, new policy on seed development and national seed policy and its seed bill seed bill in 2004 and amended in 2010 and also latest in 2019 so just be very thorough with 25 sections of seed act and uh, know about the seed control order its year and what are the provisions let's just look after the provisions of all these orders and acts and latest that is seed bill just be thorough with the things that have been changed in the seed bill and proposed and you should just focus on also just also focus on what are the disadvantages or why the seed bill is not at passed in the parliament what are the arguments or the objections that were held here so this will be very much enough from seed legislation also you can also cover the export import policy or other type of policies and orders that we uh, that is very much related to seed legislation if possible next is it's about certification so in case of certification know about the certification procedures how the certification is carried out in india so you can al always start with the varietal identification that is how the varieties are identified and after identification what is the process of notification and after notification how we, how can we apply for certification and how the certifying agency or who will provide the certificate so this will be covered under the procedures and know about the most importantly know about the generation system of seed multiplication why this generation system of seed multiplication is followed in india and what are the three stages of multiplication like breeder seed stage foundation stage and certified stage their color and tag size are also important and lastly under certification also know about the rules for grant of certificate what are the minimum requirements for the grant of certificate to the farmer and about the know about the area that is offered for certification what are the rules that are to be followed in order to be a certified seed producer so if you are covering these things that would be enough from seed certification next is unit 3 that is seed processing so under seed products processing it's very simple let's just look after the machines different machines and classification of these machines like uh, there are basic cleaning before that pre cleaning and then upgrading machines just classify the machines based on these stages which are the machines that are available in the basic cleaning and which are the machines available for pre cleaning and what are the different types of machines that will come under upgrading and once you see these machines also take care of principles that are involved that is involved and specific use of the specific machine so in whichever crops these are designed and in which crops these are specifically used so these are very much necessary in case of seed processing and out of this seed processing machi machines just give special importance to gravity separator and air screen cleaner so in this two different machines know about the different parts and their uses have a clear cut understanding just observe the figure and have a clear cut understanding about the different parts and the principle behind it and also the specific use of the different parts okay and lastly just know about the sequence of machines in seed processing so sequence of machines that are held during the seed processing and also know about the drying temperature in case of processing and post harvest operations or broadly know about the post harvest operations that are carried out starting from harvest drying and then seed processing treatment storage and package like packaging and storage like in the seed storage know about the temperature relative humidity which which are safe for the seeds 
and the temperature and it relative humidity which is unsafe like uh, uh, which from which like insects can attack attack or pests can attack or simply pests can attack so know about these temperatures so that would be enough like a safe storage of cereals pulses oil seeds know about the moisture content what is a safe moisture content for the storage of seeds so that will be covering under post harvest operations okay the fourth one it is seed testing so make it very convenient and simple just divide them into seed standards just first take care of seed standards for certification minimum requirement for certification like what will be the minimum germination percent that is required minimum genetic purity percent required physical purity that is to be passed so just take care of three these three different things under seed standards and also see like if there is any des designated diseases or percentage that is uh, allowed like in case of diseases and also designated weeds like percentage of off types that are allowed and percentage of diseased and weed seeds that are allowed in case of a specific crop or different crops for certification so once after the seed standards just look after the working sample for again these tests like germination what is the working sample that is recommended physical purity working sample and genetic purity working sample and also for moisture content so based on the diameter the working samples differs in case of moisture content estimation just have a look at it after working sample it's about the methods that are used in seed testing starting with germination what are the different methods we use top of the paper between paper pleated paper roll towel method and that substrates that are used in the testing and temperature for germination testing or ambient conditions that are required for germination testing so just take care of these things after that genetic purity testing different methods like we use seedling based field plot test and also we have biochemical test that that are recommended by the ista just look after the ista recommended methods which are specific to different crops just try to remember them next it is about physical purity and the method used to find out the physical purity percentage and next it is about moisture testing in the moisture testing we divide it into like uh, the crops which requires grinding and which do not require grinding so you can just and also in the grinding we have fine grinding and coarse grinding so just have a look at it like what are the temperatures that are involved and what are the class of the crops where this grinding is necessary and uh, talking about the methods of moisture test we we have different methods for moisture testing and out of the different methods know about the ista recommendation like uh, which method the ista has recommended like uh, ista has recommended the odd air one method in this odd way odd air one method we have high temperature and also low temperature so high temp low temperature is specific to oily seeds high temperature method is for non oily uh, starch rich and protein rich seeds so just know about this difference and the temperature like it is 130 and it is 103 usually so if you are covering these things that would be sufficient for seed testing and the last one it's about seed health so in the seed health again it is most importantly it is about the storage first its scientific name and the damaging stages which stage is actually damaging in the specific pest know about the scientific name and the damaging stage and also if possible just look after the family to which it belongs and the different chemicals or any control methods that can be used against this storage pest like management of this storage pest just look after these things and also if possible just know about the orders to which different order to which this storage pest belongs and talking about the methods also know about the insecticides and fungicides or generally the complete pesticides if possible look after the classification of these pesticides their common name or trade name so also along with this most importantly just cover the vectors for disease transmission it might be the fungal vector it might be the insect vector or it might be the pollen vector it might be to the pollen so how the viruses or the other diseases are transferred and make a list of seed borne diseases 
more both internally and externally seed borne diseases for all the field and horticulture crops so if you are covering all these things i believe like this will be more than sufficient to answer most of the questions from seed change and technology okay so i might have missed some of the topics but to make it very simple and convenient because it's not possible to cover all the topics in a single day so if you have since you have only two days you you should be able, you should be concentrating on these topics because these are very much common and most important for in case of seed change and technology okay i hope this is this video is uh, useful for you if you like the content please comment on this video like this video share and subscribe our channel thank you